Ladies and gentlemen, look at this right here. This is the main reason why I hate solar panels. Today is January 14, 2020, and the sun is nowhere to be found. But I'm not going to let it ruin my, my vacation, or should I say my adventures in my truck. Look around you. No sun. When I get back to my truck, I'll show you all how I enjoy myself when there's no sun around and I need all my gear powered up. Hello everyone, I am now approaching my truck after coming off the beach. And believe it or not, everything in my truck is being recharged with the engine off. And if you notice, I did not waste any money buying solar panels. To me, solar panels are just a waste of money because of days like this. Now, how in the world do you recharge your rig on a cloudy day like this? And this is how I prefer to do it. Here I have my trusted Honda generator, which is the heart of my, my nomadic life. I have my microwave that is hooked up, and I have my Ninja Foodie, which is all powered by that Honda generator when I go out. And the inside of my truck, to keep the stuff in my inside of my truck powered, I have a Gold Zero Yeti 1400. And for those of you who want to know what do I do when I run out of gas, I have a best tech right here. Just hook that right up to the engine, run a cord right out to that to run that and keep that thing going. But I very rarely use it because I prefer my Honda. And I use my Gold Zero to keep my angle refrigerator going. And again, my Honda generator keeps me going, man. It costs me a gallon of gas every eight days to keep everything going. Because this battery right here this will run this angle this time of year about four days straight before I have to recharge that. So that's no problem right there. The best tech, like I said, I very rarely use that, but it is operational. I keep that for emergencies, which I don't plan on having. If you look inside of my tent, bam, there's another Gold Zero Yeti. 1400 there's my heater and you know I got a few things in there to keep it going but I just don't understand the significance behind buying all those panels or people who do van life I prefer to to do my pneumatic life in the pickup truck because the worst case scenario I could just run that right out of the back come over here and pop this up right out of here just like this and I had no problems whatsoever there's my I did the microwave. So that's why I'm not a big fan of solar panels. Because I don't want to be limited to where I can go. I don't want to have to put my sun, correction, put my truck in the sun during the summertime. And as long as that thing can keep, you know, my beer, chicken, frozen. I got land chopped here. You know, I got everything I need to survive with. And I'm gonna do it without solar panels. So anybody out there have any better ways of doing this, please let me know. If you know a better way of doing it without solar panels, I'm always eager to learn. All right, here's the day. I love days like this when it's cloudy, raining, because this usually means wherever I go, I can stay by myself. I generally target places, I get on my uh, phone, I'll get on the Weather Channel and target places that's, that's raining. Here's my Kodiak canvas. This thing here is great. <coughs> I had to get an impact wrench to screw the things down in the ground because I'm old. I, got, I don't want time to be banging nothing in the ground. But she's great. This thing holds heat great. It's better than those REI. Well, I can't say REI tents are great. 
during the summertime. I wouldn't pull that out in the, I wouldn't pull this out in the uh, summertime. Cause I like to be up under the mesh in the summertime. But as usual, I'm enjoying myself and I hope you all too, all for the people who like the nomadic life, people who, who are van dwellers, I wish you all well. And I hope someday to meet you all in courtside Arizona. Peace.